How well do you know egg roll? Oh, you don't know that there are different types of egg rolls for different consumers? Oh, let's treat it once and for all. Eat baking process and eat those and don'ts. First of all, you need to understand that it's not all eggs that is eligible for egg roll making. Yes, you had me right. You see those eggs that is freshly laid? They will give you lots of trouble while peeling. So I advise you ask the seller that when they bought the egg or when the eggs were laid. I'll show you what I mean in a while. Meanwhile, insert your eggs in the water. Let's bring it into a boil and perhaps cook till doneness. While that is cooking, in another pot, add your margarine and allow to melt. And to the melted margarine, we're gonna add our sugar and our egg, cinnamon powder, and you can substitute this cinnamon with nutmeg. Then my milk flavor, my goodness. Then I'll be going in with some universal solvent, which is water, and then mix to combine homogeneously. Quickly set that aside and bring out another deep bowl. Add your flour. Of course, I'll be using 250 grams, which is approximately 2 cups. Salt and then yeast. You can also use baking powder in place of yeast or you can use both. Then comes in our milk flavor powder. Mix everything thoroughly to combine. After which you add your liquid mix and mix until they become a dough. While that mixing is ongoing, let me quickly tell you the difference and similarities between the yeast based and baking powder based egg roll. Both yeast and baking powders are rising agents which can be used but they have different quality results on the product which is the egg roll. Why the yeast egg roll can be more sticky, stretchy, with a mouth fooling property. The baking powder base will give you more tasty and mouth melting properties, but can soak oil with ease if you are not careful. So now that we are done with the dough, I check the egg. It happens that it is well cooked now, leaving some cracks and some evidence. While peeling, you should know that an oddly lay egg will peel faster and smoother. While a freshly lay egg of about 1 to 2 days old will peel slower and roughly. And that is why I mentioned that a newly lay egg is not eligible for egg roll making. Just take a look at this one. Is this not a mess? But anyway, we go manage them even if it's not qualified. <laughs> now our dough have risen for about 20 minutes and of course you know that we used yeast. While using yeast, please expect more yield of egg roll in terms of the size and the quantity of egg roll produced. Unlike that of the baking powder origin, this is because Yeast is a better rising agent than baking powder. So I'm gonna roll the egg roll now with the egg. And the formula is just to insert the egg in a flattened dough and close it up. Just like this and insert in your oil and fry. Now we cook our egg roll in oil. Just ensure you have sufficient oil for the frying and deep fry at a medium low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes. And once it's done, scoop out of the oil and you'll be amazed at the result. You can see the egg is done, it's well cooked on the inside. Yeah, just check it out yourself. Look at the egg roll, looking big, nice, and it tasted so well and so nice now from my explanation of different type of egg roll please know your consumer if they are hungry people who want it big please use yeast for them and if they are people who are well to do and they want something nice and that tasted real good use baking powder for them procedure is the same okay 
So we've come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please do not leave without clicking the like button. Please feel free to use any of this video for your tutorials, for your guidelines, for both references and for your baking repertoire. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us and I will see you in the next one.